Welcome today, friends, to Leviticus chapter 13, and thank you for coming. We will begin, and may the Word of God bless, be blessed to us. May the Lord encompass us with His understanding and His discernment. We will begin chapter 13 of Leviticus. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, saying, When a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising a scab or bright spot, and it be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, then he shall be brought unto Aaron the priest, or unto one of his sons the priest. And the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh, and when the hair in the plague is turned white, and the plague in sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy, and the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. If the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, and in sight be not deeper than the skin and the hair thereof, be not turned white, then the priest shall shut up him that hath the plague seven days, and the priest shall look on him that seventh day, and behold, if the plague in his sight be at a stay, and the plague spread not in the skin, then the priest shall shut him up seven days more, and the priest shall look on him again the seventh day, and behold, if the plague be somewhat dark, and the plague spread not in the skin, the priest shall pronounce him clean. It is but a scab, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean. But if the scab spread much abroad in the skin, after that he hath been seen of the priest for his cleansing, he shall be seen of the priest again. And if the priest see that, behold, the scab spreadeth in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a leprosy. When the plague of leprosy is in a man, then he shall be brought unto the priest, and the priest shall see him, and behold, if the rising be white in the skin, and it have turned the hair white, and there be quick raw flesh in the rising, it is an old leprosy in the skin of his flesh, and the priest shall pronounce him unclean, and he shall not shut him up, but he is unclean. And if a leprosy break out abroad in the skin, and the leprosy cover all the skin of him that hath the plague from his head, even to his foot, Whosoever the priest looketh, wheresoever the priest looketh, then the priest shall consider and behold, if the leprosy have covered all his flesh, he shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. It is all turned white, he is clean. But when raw flesh appeareth in him, he shall be unclean. And the priest shall see the raw flesh and pronounce him to be unclean, for the raw flesh is unclean, it is a leprosy. Or if the raw flesh turn again and be changed unto white, he shall come unto the priest, and the priest shall see him. And behold, if the plague be turned into white, then the priest shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. He is clean. The flesh also in which even in the skin thereof was a boil and is healed, and in the place of the boil there be a white rising or a bright spot white and somewhat reddish and it shall be showed to the priest and if when the priest seeth it behold it be in sight lower than the skin and the hair thereof be turned white the priest shall pronounce him unclean it is a plague of leprosy broken out of the boil but if the priest look on it and behold there be no white hairs therein and if it be not lower than the skin but be somewhat dark then the priest shall shut him up seven days. And if it spread much abroad in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague. But if the bright spot stay in his place and spread not, it is a burning boil, and the priest shall pronounce him clean. Or if there be any flesh in the skin, whereof there is a hot burning, and the quick flesh that burneth have a white bright spot, somewhat reddish or white, then the priest shall look upon it. And, behold, if the hair in the bright spot be turned white, and it be in sight deeper than the skin, it is a leprosy broken out of the burning, wherefore the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is the plague of leprosy. But if the priest look on it, and behold, there be no white hair in the bright spot, and it be no lower than the other skin, but be somewhat dark, then the priest shall shut him up seven days. Then the priest shall look upon him the seventh day. And if it be spread much abroad in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is the plague of leprosy. And if the bright spot stay in his place, and spread not in the skin, but it be somewhat dark, it is a rising of the burning, and the priest shall pronounce him clean, for it is an inflammation of the burning. If a man or woman have a plague upon the head or the beard, 
Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry skull, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. And if the priest look on the plague of the skull, and behold, it be not in sight deeper than the skin, and that there is no black hair in it, then the priest shall shut him up, that hath the plague of the skull seven days. And in the seventh day, the priest shall look on the plague, and behold, if the skull spread not, and there be in it no yellow hair, and the skull be not in sight deeper than the skin, he shall be shaven. But the skull shall he not shave, and the priest shall shut him up, that hath the skull seven days more. And in the seventh day the priest shall look on the skull, and behold, if the skull be not spread in the skin, nor be in sight deeper than the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him clean, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean. But if the skull spread much in the skin after his cleansing, then the priest shall look on him, and behold, if the skull be spread in the skin, the priest shall not seek for yellow hair, he is unclean. But if the skull be in the sight at a stay, and that there is black hair grown up therein, the skull is healed, he is clean, and the priest shall pronounce him clean. If a man also or a woman have in the skin of their flesh bright spots, even white bright spots, then the priest shall look and behold, if the bright spots in the skin of their flesh be darkish white, it is a freckled spot that groweth in the skin, he is clean. And the man whose hair is fallen off his head, he is bald, yet he yet is he clean. And he that hath his hair fallen off from the part of his head toward his face, he is forehead bald, yet is he clean. And if there be in the bald head or, or bald forehead a white reddish sore, it is a leprosy sprung up in his bald head or his bald forehead, then the priest shall look upon it, and behold, if the rising of the sore be white reddish in his bald head or in his bald forehead, as the leprosy appeareth in the skin of the flesh, he is a leprous man. He is unclean. The priest shall pronounce him utterly unclean. His plague is in his head. And the leper in whom the plague is, his clothes shall be rent and his head bare. And he shall put a covering upon his upper lip and shall cry, Unclean, unclean. All the days wherein the plague shall be in him, he shall be defiled. He is unclean. He shall dwell alone without the camp, shall his habitation be. The garment also that the plague of leprosy is in, whether it be a woolen garment or a linen garment, whether it be in a warp or woof of linen or of woolen, whether in a skin or in anything made of skin, and if the plague be greenish or reddish in the garment or in the skin, either in the warp or in the woof or in anything of skin, it is a plague of leprosy and shall be showed unto the priest. And the priest shall look upon the plague and shut up it, that hath the plague seven days. And he shall look on the plague on the seventh day, if the plague be spread in the garment, either in the warp or in the woof, or in a skin, or in any work that is made of skin, the plague is a fretting leprosy, it is unclean. He shall therefore burn that garment, whether warp or woof, in woolen or in linen, or anything of skin wherein the plague is, for it is a fretting leprosy, it shall be burnt in the fire. And if the priest shall look, and behold, the plague be not spread in the garment, either in the warp or in the woof, or in anything of skin, then the priest shall command that they wash the thing wherein the plague is, and he shall shut it up seven days more. And the priest shall look on the plague after that it is washed, and behold, if the plague have not changed his color, and the plague be not spread, it is unclean, thou shalt burn it in the fire, it is fret inward whether it be bare within or without. And if the priest look and behold the plague be somewhat dark after the washing of it, then he shall rend it out of the garment or out of the skin or out of the warp or out of the woof. And if it appear still in the garment, either in the warp or in the woof or in anything of skin, it is a spreading plague. Thou shalt burn that wherein the plague is with fire. And the garment, either warp or woof or whatsoever thing of skin it be, which thou shalt wash, if the plague be departed from them, then it shall be washed the second time, and shall be clean. This is the law of the plague of leprosy in a garment of woolen or linen, either in the warp or woof, or anything of skins to pronounce it clean, 
or to pronounce it unclean. Thank you, friends, for coming. We're learning about the leprosy and how it has to be treated. And, friends, it can get confusing. But at the same time, we know that in all things, wherever God is, he makes all things holy. And that since God is holy, that we too must be holy. And the only way we can be found holy is through the precious blood of Christ. Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? Have you been saved? Are your sins forgiven? May you come back and hear the word of God. And may you learn and may we all uh, enjoy what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us. May God bless the reading of his word.